Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today we're gonna go over some Warframe fashion frames. Specifically, I wanna go over all of the cosmetics I have, Sai and Donna's. I don't wanna go over the individual weapon or Warframe skins as that may take a little too long and even I don't use that many weapon skins at this point. There's just too many, right? But I do wanna go over pretty much most of my Warframe fashion frame, okay? I'll just use Wisp as she's one of my, in my opinion, better looking fashion frames. And the way I always do fashion is I just hit random colors until I find a color scheme that I really like and then I roll with that. And that's when I start putting on all of the attachments. So helmet's not really important, the skin not really important because Wisp Let's look at some of the animations. Okay, got Wisp, Excalibur, Excalibur, Korra, Korra. And yeah, nothing really much there. Don't have an onslaught of animations whatsoever. I really don't have a ton of fashion framing stuff, so this shouldn't be a very long video in the first place. I do have a decent amount of attachments, so let's take a look. My chest guards are as follows. This one is the Dex Rexada chest guard, but I have a ton as you can see. I probably wouldn't be able to remember where to get half of these because let's be honest here, I barely even remember where to get things that I've made videos on, but fashion frame is one of those things that I don't pay a ton of attention to. People are nice, they gift me random things, and I also do buy random things that I like here and there, so it's very random for me, is what I'm trying to say. I do have a lot of shoulder plates, well, not really a ton actually, just a good chunk of them. Wait, which is this one? Yeah, that one there. Right, decent ones here and there. I do like the Dex Raxta one. I could get a lot of the barrel ones, but... All of that costs money. Yeah, the Fracture Shoulder Guard's always a favorite of mine. This one's honking huge. Hexus, right? This one's pretty, pretty cool looking if you want to do an infested frame. And, ah, yeah, that's about it right there. Interesting, interesting, and then I go back. I don't have a ton of leg plates, leg guards, call them what you will here, but I mean, I have some. It's hard to see them here anyways because wisp, right? But hey, you can always hide them if you really want, use them. But for wisp, eh. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Yeah, there's not a ton of these ones that I like throwing on wisp, and I don't have a huge variety myself, right? Yeah. So, not a huge leg guard person myself, but oh, oh god, the ephemeras. See, I have a good amount of ephemeras, right? Not a ton, because again, haven't farmed up everything in the game, but a lot of random ones. The bleeding body, ah uh, yes, orange drank. That one I like, pretty cute. The crany ephemera, it's also very beautiful. This one just looks good on, I think, like anyone really, because like, come on, any color scheme can make it look nice. Dog Days Ephemera until they take it away, only for a limited time. That's, you know, until they take it away. Eilon Ephemera, they've already posted about this in the past anyways. This one's pretty boring for the most part, and since I'm Wisp and can't run around, I don't think you can show it off, because footsteps. But, the wings, these were a Valentine's Day event item, so you will most likely be able to pick them up again next Valentine's Day, so keep that in mind. You cannot get them to my knowledge right now, but you should be able to get them again one day. Then I just have some random ones here. You might be able to hear my puppy barking in the background, but that's fine. Right, Frostfall, it's kind of hard to notice it too much, but you can see it there. <laughs> Got my Katir Ephemera. I mean, it looks cool. Got my Lotus Ephemera there. I mean, it's pretty there. Nabarus one is always uh, one of my favorites as well. I love throwing it on my, like, generic <laughs> edgy frames. <laughs> then I have my Smoking Body. I do like this one actually too. Just a general uh, flame smoke effect. The Spinneret, I also very much enjoy. Especially with Wisp, because look at her like legs. It kind of gets it in there too, right? So, I don't know. This one is just very cool to me. Spore Ephemera. 
also a good one. I do like it. I like the ones that are more noticeable. So, yeah. The Tenokan Ephemera is like a weird shield. I don't hate it or anything. It's just kind of funny looking. But, I mean, it shows the Lotus. So, yeah. It's cool enough. Can't be mad. The Trio Orbit Ephemera. Earned on the Steel Path. Nice. I mean, I don't hate this one actually either. I probably won't use it too much. Vengeful Charge Ephemera is also really sick because it's just... It's a Kuva Lich one, right? But this one's just electricity. So, 10 out of 10. Vengeful Chill. Yeah, that's the uh, Kuva Lich one. Gives a cool chill aura, right? I don't like the Vengeful Shockwave one. Because it's just like rocks, right? I don't know, less interesting. But the Zarina Ephemera which is a Sisters of Parvos ephemera, my first one I might add. Looking pretty cool, pretty cool. I need to get a lot more of these and a lot more Kuva Lich ephemeras, but I have a decent amount so far, so I'm not mad there. So those are pretty much all of my important things there. So we'll go over the Cyandana next because this is what people want to know about as well. The Apis Cyandana once twitched with unsettling life. I think this one I got as a Twitch, like, Prime Gaming thing, but it's hard for me to say for sure. Other than that, this one, I don't care too much. This one, it's kind of cool, right? Cephalons, nice. I don't use it too much yet, though. I like a lot of the normal-looking cape ones with good designs, like this one. This one can be interesting. I like it, but it's kind of goofy, but god, I, I like it. This one, I don't know. I haven't seen this one work yet with me, so maybe one day. This one's uh, pretty cool. Fourth anniversary of the first ten awaking from cryostasis. Yeah, that's nice. Foxglove sign down. This is a very wide one. Makes me think of like a cape that you'll just fly around in. Pretty cool. This one, it reminds me kind of like a bug uh, tail or like spike. Don't worry about it. I like it though. It looks pretty cool. It's Cora one. Nice. <laughs> this one just looks pretty bad. I don't like it one bit. It just looks clunky, short, and whatever. There's some that I don't like. This one? Very cool. The signature Cyandana of Nidus Frike. Yeah, this one's dope as hell, since it's a living Cyandana. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. The Pakal Cyandana? Uh, I don't use it too much, but it's the Hunhao one, I believe. The Prisma Uru Cyandana. This one, I actually do like. Plus, you can make it a cool belt and flip it around like that. Right? 10 out of 10. I don't think I use this one a ton, but I have you- Oh, no. I use this one on a couple frames, like, uh, I think Excal Umbra. No, I really do like this one, because it reminds me of just, like, a, a Cell tail. You know, Dragon Ball Z, Cell. Yeah, you, you know. Oh, there's so many Cyandanas in this game, it's insane. I have the Racta Cyandana, not too bad. Solstice Centuria Cyandana, not a huge fan of that one, though. Solstice Vanquished Banner? Oh, actually, I don't mind that one. That's kind of cool. That would look pretty cool on a uh, Umbra IMO. Got the Spectre uh, Prime sign <laughs> done. <laughs> Ooh, this one's kind of cool, too, if you have it on a, a good frame that makes it look good. With this combo of the wings, it doesn't really look good, but it would on others. Oh, that one. Oh, I think this is a Wukong. Yeah, Wukong one. Okay. That one's not bad. Sinoid. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Telos. Not cool enough. Yeah, I would need like more aggressive colors. That one, not a huge fan personally. Ah, almost at the end here. This one's kind of cool though, it's like a bone skin. Sinus spine of infest anatomy. Yeah, okay, that's essentially what it is. That one's nice. Oh, it's very shimmery. Oh my god, metallic as hell. Cool. The verve one, I don't like it too much. It's kind of like a little backpack. The this one, don't care too much. Vithil Prime Sandana? Nope, this is the Vithil Sandana. Not Prime, but I mean, it looks cool all in all, but not cool enough, right? And then we have this one Jingle Jingle, Orc and High Court, right? So I have, yeah, some cool Sandanas, but not a massive amount. And then for my sigils, I don't care about my sigils. They're purely, okay, purely for. Gaining reputation and standing, I should say. So let's switch to my Arbitrations one. There we go. Arbiters of the Hexus, I should say. And then we'll quickly just take a look at some of mine if you're curious. Yay, hey, Tenocon 2021. Oh, that one's kind of interesting. I don't want it though, sorry. Do not want it. 
Yeah, I just have a massive ton of random ones. A lot of stalker sigils here. My god, okay. Stop it. So why, do, why are there so many? No. Yeah, there's just, I mean, random sigils, right? I myself... Oh, cool. Don't pay a huge attention or amount of attention to these, if I do say so, but... I mean, they're still pretty cool if you want to throw them on. Yeah, Gilded Clan Sigil. But all in all, that's all of the fashion that I really care to show off because I don't really have anything for my operator that I care about. And that's kind of all I have here that I can show off. I don't really have many weapon skins, so yeah. If you're one of the people that ever asked about any of my signed Donnas, any of my fashion frame, this was the video for you. I have gotten a ton of questions and a ton of videos, so thought I should make this. Thank you all for watching, sub, use Epic Game Store creator code PUPSKER, check out any of my social medias and links in the description below, and I will see you next time. Peace.